Anthony Williams. Yeah. Juicers. Yeah, the juicers last last day of the sale, I think. Today or tomorrow. Fifty dollars off. Yeah. I'm juicing celery now. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, the pulp comes out so dry, it's amazing. Yeah, are you gonna get the juicer? Cool. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, no, I, he's here. He's here. He's with me right here. You wanna say something? What'd you say? You're feeling better? What happened? The celery juice? Incredible. Alright. Yep. Sales on. It's gonna end soon. Tell your friends. Alright. You guys, juicing some celery right here, MM900 HDS. It's on sale for like today, I think tomorrow morning. I'm not sure when it's cutting off. I gotta look into it, but all I know is the sale's about to end. You see $50 on this machine, and the pulp is just dry. I'm laughing about it because the bucket is dry, and it's like saving so much money getting the nutrients out of there, like every last extraction, every drop out of here. You love the MM juicer? Incredible. MM900 HDS, an amazing tool. It's a medical device, and it's so important to have in your life. It just is. If you got a juicer, use the juicer you have. Just do celery. Make sure you're doing celery. You can juice anything in this, too. It's just incredible. I was juicing some other stuff the other day, but... I'm just letting you guys know that it's it doesn't have the metal gears, so you're not getting poisoned by metal particles. It doesn't have all the metal gears grinding against each other. It's just an incredible device. Everybody's DMing me, what juicer do I get? What juicer do I get? It's like I gotta tell you when the sale's happening because if I don't tell you when the sale's happening, then that's not fair. You guys get I only talk about it when it's on sale. It's so easy to clean, I know. Hearst, it is. It's the best juicer, right? I mean, you guys, I freaking love this thing. Love it. Hey, everybody. We're on TikTok. We're on Telegram. We're on IG, right? It's a quiet machine. It's the best juicer. It just is. Hello from Portugal. Amazing, amazing. It's just, it's just an incredible juicer. And we're talking about, just seeing, so you know, I'm going to talk about plant-based versus animal protein. So I'm going to co cover that for a little bit. So just hang with me because we're going to talk about some cool stuff, right? And you can't get nutrients like this out of eating celery. So eating celery is not going to do it. Eating celery is good for you. You can chop it up and throw it in a salad. You can do that, right? You can put a little bit in, in a smoothie. You can do that, but it's not going to create the herbal extraction. This is an actual extractor right here. Because this is not just a typical juicer, know that. This is an herbal, herbal extractor. What happens is they designed it in a way to literally extract. So the pulp comes out dry, the container's dry, and you pull all that juice out. Celery's an herb. This is an herbal extractor right here. It's just like if you have chamomile tea and you're, you've got your chamomile tea and hot water, and you're extracting the herbal medicine out of your chamomile tea, that's a water extraction. Well, this isn't a water extraction. This is a machine that's extracting the juice. 
It's not like your centrifuge juicer or some other kind of masticating juicer or any kind of cold press juicer, which doesn't do this. This is for medicine. This is for healing. This is for getting people better. There's a bigger difference. People think, well, he's, he's oh, he's just, he, it's a juicer, big deal. He's talking about his juicer, the MM900 HDES or whatever. And, you know, and the point is, is that, yeah, it's a medicinal maker. It's a medicine extractor. No other juicer does what this does. I know juicer companies out there are all upset because, you know, people are healing with this device and then they, they don't have a machine that's comparable. So they get upset out there. But, you know, and you guys know I'm working with Omega, right? You know I'm working with them. And it's an incredible, credible device. I'm just letting you guys know. So anyway, the sale's on. It's $50 off on this machine. You'll be blown away. It's mm 900 HTS. Please know the right machine because you're going to get the wrong machine and you're going to have the wrong Omega machine. <laughs> it's omegajuicers.com. This is the celery juicer, but you can juice anything. Best juicer ever, right? Aisling, incredible. I'm, I'm, it, it is. <laughs> it is. You guys hang in there because I'm going to talk about plant versus animal. We're going to cover that in a second. But I just wanted to really give you the rundown of why it's so incredible and why I love it so much. Because it is a medicinal making machine. That's what it is. You're taking an herb and you can take other herbs and use this machine. You can take parsley and juice it. You can take other herbs. It's an herbal extractor is what I call it. And that's the difference. Right? Right? That's the difference. Can you guys hear me or, or am I censored on the sound on IG completely? Chris, can you hear me? You seem fine to me. So yeah, so MM, you're the best ever. Abbott, thank you, honored, honored. People ask me what juicer to use every single day because you know, being the originator of the global celery juice movement, right, the whole thing with the celery juice for 35 plus years and teaching people how to therapeutically use celery juice so they can heal naturally everybody's gonna ask me 24 7 what juicer what juicer what juicer it's the best juicer there is for the celery juice hi guys on tiktok great to see you it's an honor to have you guys here on tiktok truly telegram guys are the best ig good to see you guys chris says you're heard that's amazing amazing where is it on sale amy it's on sale at omegajuicers.com Right, and it's the MM nine hundred HDS. MM nine hundred HDS. Really important to know that's the machine. So celery juice. So the prevention realm. Hey, good to see you. Celery juice brought you back to life. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. That's incredible. Cold white spring, baby Yoda. Cold white spring. How you doing? <clears throat> I read your comments all the time. Name of the juicer. It's the Omega Juicer, but it's not just any Omega Juicer. It's the MM900 HDS. So just so you know, there's no metal gears in here grinding against each other and leaving you with metal particles as the years go by. And that's what's incredible all on its own. That alone is worth the price of the juicer, and the juicer's inexpensive. It's inexpensive. I mean, there's cold-pressed juicers out there that are like through the roof and they're, they're junk. They don't squeeze all the juice out. You don't get dry pulp. They got metal gears. This is the best juicer there is, price point, hand down or anything else. I'm just letting you know, truly. Um, so that's just one great reason right there. You're not getting poisoned by metal dust. <laughs> it's sad. And then the centrifuge juicers, it burns the juice and that metal is going everywhere too. I'm really tired about the whole metal thing in juicers. It's like people got to get it together in the, in, the, in the juicer world, man. And But this right here, it's an herbal extractor, right? So you're, you're not just, it's not just a juicer like, hey, let me go get a juicer. It's way more than that. It's way more than that. This is herbal medicine you're extracting, you guys. This is a big deal right here, a really big deal. What you'll know, notice, said it before, you'll notice... A dry bottle. Dry. I mean, that's legit dry. It's, it's actually it freaks me out every time. It's dry pulp, and it's getting drier by the second. The air is just, just evaporating any what's ever left in there. You save money. Food prices are going up. Um, and, and it's important to know that's what's happening these days. And it's, they're going to go up higher and higher and higher. But use whatever juicer you have. If it's all you got, use it and get your celery juice going. I don't care. Just use it, right? 
but this pays for itself and then it saves you money with food so you can buy other food i'm just what better what better way to do it and it's 50 dollars off right now megajuicers.com just letting you guys know megajuicers.com right the mm900 hds let's talk about plant versus animal for a little bit too okay so there's two sides of the aisle you could be plant-based you could be animal protein plant-based or animal protein right two sides of the aisle okay and um medical medium doesn't pick sides we don't pick sides spirit of compassion and i we don't okay you it, the reason why is because for the first time ever in alternative medicine, I know this is going to bother some of you guys that are new and don't know MM info. You're going to get real peed off about this. For the first time ever, we know what causes chronic illness. It's not just processed foods like the health movement believed. It's the things that medical medium information has talked about only and originally. So it comes from medical medium publications and the work I've done for 35 years. It's the toxic heavy metals. It's where the metals sit in the body. It's the liver being um, congested with metals and other stuff and pathogens, right? So we know the cause. Medical medium information broke, broke that whole thing about not knowing why anybody's sick. All the years... Nobody knew why. They still don't. I mean, you talk to alternative doctors, it's amazing. You talk to an alternative doctor now that doesn't know medical medium info, they're sitting there swimming in theory land on like gut microbiome and everything, but they still don't know why anybody's really sick. They don't know why you have fibromyalgia. They're like, well, maybe it's your gut. Fibromyalgia is Epstein-Barr. I broke the information years back and um, about what causes all the different conditions and illnesses, and that's why there's no side to the aisle plant versus animal. You'll notice everybody who picked a side in the health movement, they picked a side because they didn't know why anybody was sick. So they just went with the belief system. I believe animal protein is the way to go in the right way. And then you stay healthy, you know, like keto. And I believe, or someone might say, I believe in plant-based vegan. And that's the way you beat out illness and stay healthy. So I'm going to pick a side. Guess what? Vegans and plant-based people get sick because they don't know why they're sick. They don't know what ma what's making them sick. They don't know what started making them sick before they went vegan or plant-based. And animal protein people, they get sick too, no matter how clean you eat. Smoky Mountain Paradise, good to see you. No matter how clean they eat, right? So Medical Medium Info was about, you're gonna get better, animal protein person. You can still stay on animal protein and get better. You're gonna get better, vegan person. You can still be vegan and get better plant-based person, you can still get better. You're gonna get better vegetarian. You're still gonna get better. We're gonna do it right, like medical medium info. There was never picking a side of the aisle. That's never been done before. All the, all the podcast doctors now are starting to learn, so they're kind of talking about it a little bit. They're starting to figure it out a little because they've been on one side all those years. They were either plant-based or they were animal protein. I won't throw any names out, but all the podcast doctors, they were either on one side or the other. They're either animal protein or they're plant. There's just one side or the other. Now they're starting to kind of utter like, yeah, if you want to be this, you could be that because of MM info. But medical medium was never on one side because for the first time in our history with chronic illness, answers were brought to you guys. Answers were brought to why you were sick. And that's why... We've healed more people with chronic illness in history, in history. Keep that in mind. If anybody wonders how it works with medical medium and, and medical medium information, okay? There's a gold emblem on the book. The gold emblem on the book, okay? Says millions of copies sold of the medical medium series. Millions. They're the number one selling health books on the planet no one will put press on it. No one talks about it. But they're the number one selling books in the world. Okay? And it's in health. Keep that in mind. Because people have gotten better. There's no marketing strategy. There's no marketing company behind me. There's no publicist behind me. There's no agents behind me. 
There's nothing behind this besides someone healed and handed the book to somebody else and they healed and handed the book to somebody else and they healed and that's never been done in our human history with chronic illness. The other books in health, the only way they survive, if they even get out there, is they got big marketing campaigns behind them and then they die out anyway. This is staying alive because people are healing. It's important to know kind of a little bit of the foundations. If you want to know like what... I talk about, like, you know, with the people and medical medium and stuff. If you want to know what I talk about, what we talk about, we talk about how it's the most incredible thing to know that these books are going around the world, reversing disease, healing people, getting their lives back like nothing else has ever done in our history. It's something I'm very proud of. Spirit of Compassion is very proud of. You know, and a couple of members of medical medium too that that you know help do some things so we can we can get what we need to get done. We're just very proud of how many lives have been saved. You know how many lives have been saved on TikTok. Somebody asked about the Jewish name. It's MM nine hundred HDS. MM nine hundred HDS. I talked. Watch the watch the IG from the beginning. If you want to see how I talked about the juicer and, the, and, and how it's an herbal extractor, it doesn't have the metal gears, how the pulp comes out dry. My God, look, it's floating around in there. It's now actually air dry at this point. That's not, that's not a trick. The pulp's, the pulp's dry now at this point. And there's the bottom of the, the, the thing's dry. So it's really incredible. It's turning into dust. The pulp's turning into dust. It's been literally tore to shreds to get every single tiny drop out. So... Medical medium is not one side of the aisle. It's not like you got to be plant-based. I believe in plant-based and that's it. And you can't heal otherwise. The medical medium is not like I believe in all, you know, animal protein. Good to clean animal protein diet. Stay away from plant-based and vegan. It's the only place that was never on one belief system since the beginning. That's, that's just, just, just so you guys know. There's a reason for that. Because you can heal either way, either side of the aisle, you can heal. It's just, what are you doing? So, MM's about details because they matter. Do you got ACV in your diet? Apple cider vinegar? Do you have other vinegars? Do you have nutritional yeast? Do you have charcoal in your diet? Are you taking activated charcoal? Because if you take activated charcoal, you will eventually not heal down the road. It suffocates your intestinal lining, not allowing nutrients to absorb, creating a malabsorption and nutritional deficiencies epically. But yet you'll see it every day. People mixing things in. They'll do some celery juice and they'll do something else and you'll see an influencer out there talking about some other stuff and say, make sure you do activated charcoal. And they totally just screwed somebody over because someone's not going to heal all the way or worse they're gonna get sicker down the road. Very important. Meat has a lot of meat has a lot of fat, and if he says to lower fat, contradicting. Melissa, actually, meat has a lot of fat, and which is MM info, because everybody thought meat just had protein. I spent 35 years teaching everybody meat had fat. So wherever you got it from originally came from medical medium. Because nobody thought meat had fat 35 years ago plus. But I want you to know, I'm glad you said that awesome thing that you said, okay? Because it's important to know, all right, that there's high fat in meats and there's high fat in animal fat, in plant fats. Avocado, nuts, seeds, oils, soy, nut butters, olive oil, it's all high fat. They're both high fat. So just so you know, I'm not contradicting myself. I'm saying you can still be plant-based and lower the fats and then take fat breaks and you can still be animal protein and lower the fats and still take fat breaks. So there's nothing in the contradiction at all right there. So I really respect what you're saying and all that and I'm glad you're here. So thank you for you know putting that out there, saying that I contradict myself because I'm not and it's good to explain it, right? So... If people do animal fat at the end of the day, it's already helping them in lowering the fats. If people do their plant fats at the end of the day, it's already helping to lower their fats, okay? 
and you can do fat breaks and cleanse. So medical medium information is about fat breaks. It's about getting off your animal proteins, but guess what? It's about getting off of your plant fats as well. And when you get off of both, you can heal, and then if you want to go back on a little bit of animal protein, that's your animal fat, go ahead if that's your life, if that's what you love. If you want to go back on plant fats because you're vegan and plant-based, go back on that. But, but learn. Instead of saying I'm contradicting myself, meaning like just understand it and learn, and this way you can be like, whoa, I see. But thank you. Learn the details. Very important. So I saw someone said they're on, they've been on charcoal for years. Charcoal creates the worst nutritional deficiencies. When you take activated charcoal, what it does, it's soot. Soot gets into the cells of the intestinal lining, not allowing nutrients to pass through. You guys hear that? Activated charcoal is soot. Soot won't let nutrients pass through the intestinal lining. Do you see how many traps are out there in alternative medicine? Don't believe me? Keep on doing your activated charcoal. You'll be so sick down the road. But I don't want you to do the activated charcoal because I don't want you sick. Um, details matter, right? Apple cider vinegar dissolves your teeth. It pulls the calcium out of your teeth and bones to neutralize the acetic acid. So you don't want to be in your apple cider vinegar. All vinegar does that. And that's another trap. Nutritional yeast is MSG with the bad B12, add it to it, and it's also an antagonist to the nerves and intestinal lining. These are just a few of the trendy stuff out there that doesn't work. But charcoal is soot, activated charcoal. Soot doesn't allow nutrients that you're eating from your foods to enter into your intestinal tract walls and absorb. You keep on using activated charcoal, you're gonna get severely deficient and you're gonna get real sick down the road. Details matter, so important, okay? So um, I just made some celery juice, okay? I'm gonna put baby Yoda over here or maybe I can put baby, baby, baby Yoda over here for a second, if you guys don't mind. But I think I think it's really important to understand how people, why people haven't healed all these years. One of the reasons is because practitioners and healers and doctors take one side or the other, one side of the aisle or the other. So they're completely closed off to the other side. The plant-based people completely closed off, the animal protein people completely closed off. And when practitioners and doctors and healers and functional medicine doctors and MDs and naturopaths are on one side of the aisle and don't know why people are sick to begin with, it guarantees a guessing game that could get you some results, but in the end, you end up sick and seeing 10 more doctors in the next 10, 20 years or whatever. And then you're just on the circuit, sick for life with all your symptoms, not knowing why anybody's sick and yourself is sick and everything else. And then info's about... You healing, plant-based, or animal protein, okay? And that's important to know. So, I got a little celery juice right here, and of course, I'll spill a little because I'm in front of the juicer next to Baby Yoda and <laughs> making a mess. Listen, when you, when, you, when you actually pour your celery juice, make sure you don't do what I do. Like try to move the juicer and try not to pour it onto baby Yoda. So, and strain it, very important to strain it. So celery juice is one medical meme tool to help heal, it's a complete electrolyte. I talked about that, Grogu might've gotten a little wet. I don't think so, I don't think Grogu got wet. So we're good. If so, like, Okay, Health Wealth says, he says you can have salmon. If someone's going to eat fish, salmon's an option. Sardines are an option. But remember, it's, yeah, you can also be plant-based and not have any fish. You can be somebody that has fish, right, as your fat, if that's what you want to do. And then learning how to use the tools, the medical medium tools in between it all. So it's important to know. 
So plant versus animal, one of the big talking points is that plant-based people starve themselves of protein, they're deficient because they're plant-based, they're, you know, and that's a big deal because it's really hard on people who are plant-based and vegan that go that direction. But now it's more accepted, so it's more accepted. But make no mistake, there's only this many plant-based people or vegan people compared to animal protein people in the world, right? And the world is filled with sick people that are eating animal protein. I know guys, okay, that, that from family members, of family member friends and stuff like that, or friends of a friend of some other family member or whatever, where they're 35 years old, they're 38 years old, they seem like they're in top shape, they don't have a scrap of fat on their body, they're working out all the time, they're pumping weights, they're running, they're running on treadmills, and they drop dead of heart attacks. People think they're, they got it all set. They think they figured it all out with health just because they haven't been chronically sick with a neurological symptom or brain fog. They just think they have it all down. But we don't have it down. We don't. You can still eat wrong for years, be in shape or look like you're in shape, have a lot of muscle if you're using your muscles, if you're building muscle, if you're, you're spending time working out, and then still drop dead. I can't tell you how many 40-year-olds drop dead, how many 45-year-old guys drop dead. Very, very common. I see it all the time. I know Olympic athletes okay, that have come to me recently and throughout the years that are sick. And here they are, was in top shape, their physical body's in top shape. They're eating clean, eating clean keto, or eating clean plant-based, eating clean vegan, and then they're sick. And then I have to help bring them back because being sick isn't just about picking a side or it's the food you're eating entirely. It's about the pathogens inside of you. So there's Olympic athletes that end up getting pathogens like Epstein-Barr, right, and simplex and cytomegalovirus and HHV6, and then they get sick and they have chronic fatigue, they start wasting away, they don't feel good, they get the brain fog, and they can't now perform. And then they're like, I've been to 20 doctors, I gotta know, find medical medium and find out what's wrong with me, and it's like, whoa, you got the Epstein bar, you got cytomegala, you got simplex, you got shingles, and you got metals, and let's get the metals out, let's get the pathogens out, and let's get you better. And let's get you better. And then they learn how to eat specifically to what's wrong. And so MM Info is about learning how to eat to what's wrong. And if you have something going on with your health, then you learn to kind of back down on the foods you need to back down on. And that's that's what's so cool about the info and everything. You guys just want to tell everybody, this is like the last sale day, I think. Here today or tomorrow. $50 off on this machine. It's the MM900 HDS. I talked about the cellular juice and, and juicing and all of that. What is wrong with popcorn, Spanda? It'll feed pathogens if you're somebody that's sick. If you're somebody with chronic illness, it'll feed pathogens. Is what it, it's what it'll do. Popcorn, corn has been used in a way to create all the drugs, right? In That's happening in the world too. All the pharmaceuticals are made out of corn. GMO corn, right? So that's important to know. The other thing is corn, okay, can feed bugs when it's GMO'd. So when it's GMO'd, it can feed bugs. So you, you gotta realize that, that if you got SIBO, you got something in your gut, you got bad bacteria, right? And so all corn's contaminated. So if you think you're not drinking or eating, I mean, if you think you're not eating corn that's contaminated, you're wrong. Organic corn is contaminated. It's all crossed over. We know that, right? You guys know that. I've talked about that many times. Um, so, but corn, corn products can get you in trouble because it'll feed pathogens that are keeping you sick. That's a detail that matters if you need to go that extra mile. That's a food you can avoid. Same thing with soy. You gotta avoid soy, you gotta, avo gotta avoid corn if you wanna heal, right? And you can chip away at it, remove the gluten, remove the dairy products, the milk, cheese, butter, remove the eggs, you can chip away, then remove the corn, right? You can chip away a little bit at a time, remove the pork, yeah? What happens is you go along, you go along, you're deficient, you get more deficient, you don't know it, 
and then a stressful event happens and boom, or a flu hits you or a stressful event happens and boom, you're down. You're, on da you're down on the ground now. That's it. You're hurting. It pushed you over the edge. It was all that was needed to push you in the edge and finish you. And now you're sick, like really sick. And that's what happens. People go around deficient. They go around, they're dabbling. They're dabbling a little bit in some MM stuff or they're dabbling in this and that. They're doing charcoal, they're doing whatever. They're doing poisonous alkaline ionizer water, which is poisonous. They're doing all these things. And then the minute a stressful event comes or a bad flu comes, they weren't prepared. They didn't have all the tools. They didn't have all the info and they go down. They go down. So they're doing their kombucha tea and they go down because kombucha tea causes the worst conditions as far as acidity. It's super acidic to the body. Your body goes into high blood acid and then you lose all your bones over time. Your skull thins, your bones thin. And by the time you're 50 years old and doing yoga and you're 50 years old and doing yoga and something breaks, something like fractures, and you're like, what? Because you, you know, you're doing a yoga move and you slipped and fell on your butt and now your hips fractured. You don't know why and you're 54 years old. You've seen it happen. It's from kombucha tea and vinegars and things that eat away at our bones. And there's so many traps out there. It's crazy. I'll just give you a quick rundown right now. Like diatomaceous earth particles, a trap, dangerous. Kombucha tea, a trap, wears down your bones, turns you into, into an acidic condition which raises pathogen levels. Caffeine, like chocolate, coffee, all of that, green tea, bad, kills your adrenals, causes all kinds of brain problems, right? You can just go down the line. Like you have all vinegars, dissolves your teeth and bones. Vinegar just kills your stomach glands, kills your HCL. Like, you know, ACV kills your HCL. It's like, I could go down the list. Charcoal suffocates your intestinal lining so you can't absorb any nutrients. Like collagen, not good either. It's like, I can go down the list for so many things. And these are just some. Ionized water, alkaline ionized water, terrible, terrible. It's metal in there from the plate, metal plates, they, uh, they corrode. They corrode, but you don't see it until you open up your machine two years later. And then you're like, holy crap, what was that? And then you realize how much metal you've been drinking. Yeah, no green tea, because green tea burns out the adrenals, it burns your adrenals out. It burns out your, your, the caffeine burns out your stomach glands. The caffeine industry is really pull, pull, the, pull the wool over you guys. It, you, you pull the wool over your eyes. It's really hard. It's really played a really good game by investing billions into advertising and so-called studies on caffeine and stuff. It's a psychoactive drug. You still lose your bones and you still lose your teeth. So all these things matter, right? So this is why medical medium information is not on one side of the aisle plant. Or animal. You don't see me going like it's all vegan, like these are vegan books where they're where I say in the books you have to be vegan and never touch an animal protein. No one should touch an animal protein ever in their life. The whole world should be vegan. You don't hear that in my books. Because it's never been about one side or the other. It's been about what's right or wrong in order to heal. You can be clean plant protein, a clean plant-based person. Diet is a plant-based diet, and you're doing charcoal, collagen, ACV, you're doing like clay, you're doing bentonite clay, and you're killing yourself. You're doing alcohol, you're doing caffeine, and you're killing yourself slowly. And then you get sick, and you're like, God, my plant-based diet's totally, I'm sick because of my plant-based diet, so my plant-based diet, no, you just did your plant-based diet wrong, that's all. Meanwhile, you run back and eat eggs because now you're confused and some, now some animal protein doctors like functional medicine doctor like, you needed protein all this time. You needed eggs all this time. You are a bad person being plant-based. Meanwhile, people with animal protein, they're sitting in dental, dentist chairs around the world getting their teeth drilled. All the, all the podcast doctors that eat animal protein, they got like all fake teeth. Meanwhile, all the animal protein people are sick with illnesses. Too. They're all sick with illnesses. Meanwhile, you leave the plant-based movement and you run to the animal again, realizing, not realizing they're all sick too. They're all sick too. What about collagen? Scam. 
Scam of a lifetime. Why do you think the new collagen powders now are using medical medium information and they're putting like zinc in their collagen? They're changing it up. They're putting things in their collagen. They're putting like other things in wheatgrass in their collagen. They're putting things in their collagen and then they're saying, oh, uh, they're putting vitamin C in their collagen. Because they just sold for the last 15 years billions of dollars in crappy collagen powder and never got anybody any results. Never helped anybody. It ripped them off. And now they're adding like minerals to their collagen powder. Uh, this collagen powder has minerals. This coll collagen powder has vitamin C. This collagen powder has silica now. They play a game. You know, they play a game. So it, that's how it works. Chelsea, all ionizer water machines are, are horrendous. 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 I wouldn't go near him with a 100-foot pole. Wouldn't, I wouldn't drink that water if someone gave me a million dollars and said, drink this glass of alkaline ionizer water machine. I, I would never, glass of water, I would never, ever. So yeah, I'd rather use reverse osmosis water. I'd rather, <laughs> rather use RO, RO water. I'd rather use, you know, a Berkey water system, spring water. I'd rather use spring water way over that. Are you kidding? Um, yeah, spring water is fine. It's fine. But it's these details that you might appreciate down the road, you guys. When you know I've been looking out for you. You might appreciate it down the road, some of you, you know, and be like, you know what? He was looking out for me because I didn't believe him. I didn't believe the medical medium when he told me about the alkaline eyes and iron water or the, or, you know, you talk, you know, the charcoal or the, or the ACV or the caffeine. I didn't believe him. But now I'm sick. And now I know what to do. You know, details matter. There's over a hundred. There's over a, a thousand protocols in the medical medium information, so you can customize and heal. Okay. You guys need to know something. You know, I'm only doing this to look out for you. I'm not doing this to make a big name for myself. Okay, to build this big platform so I can be a star. I've been offered mainstream TV shows on every network there is to create the medical medium show, okay, where I'm working on people with spirit of compassion like I've done during live events where people come on the stage. And I've been offered movie deals I'm not talking about documentaries that anybody can, anybody can do a documentary. I'm talking about movie deals. I've been offered in Hollywood all through the years, TV series on, on, on the main networks. I turned them all down. It was just gonna be about making sure I can look out for you guys. And if I don't make friends in the meantime because I get industries upset, then whatever. But, yeah, so it's about making sure I get you guys what you guys need and you tell somebody else and so forth and so forth. So you guys, anyway, we're just talking about plant-based animal and other stuff. But listen, if you're dabbling in MM, you still got my respect. If you're dabbling in just some of MM, if you're just doing celery juice, 16 ounces a day, I, you got my respect. I don't shame anybody. But just so you know, though, make sure you know you're just dabbling. Don't convince yourself somehow that you did an MM for a year when you didn't. When you were doing ACV and chocolate and caffeine and kombucha tea and clay and some gut powder, some, some practitioner gave you that destroyed your gut lining and charcoal again and whatever. And then claim you did medical medium for a year and then post about it or comment about it and said, I did medical medium for two years. Meanwhile, you ate eggs for half the time and you ate, you know, you drank caffeine and you ate cheese and everything else. And then you're like, well, and then for some reason though, you convince yourself that you've been doing MM all along or something and you're doing bad supplements from some other stuff that's out there and just be open to realizing that you were dabbling. Maybe you're drinking ionizer water and then you're like, well, I'm not getting better and I'm still bloated and I still got brain fog and, but I've been doing MM for two years. It's like this, be straight up and just realize that you were dabbling and you got my respect. 
But the details matter, and they matter in order to heal and be like, hey, I'm getting some of the medical medium info down. I know I got more to go. I know I got to learn this info and read his books. And I can get there. So I got to have patience with myself if it's difficult. You know, when I'm still struggling with something. What is the best source of protein? Leafy greens, spirulina, the right spirulina. Like the Vimergy spirulina is amazing. So we're all like, we're all addicted to protein. I mean, we're not addicted to protein. We're addicted to the protein brainwashing. We just believe that we all need protein or something. Newsflash, everybody's getting more than enough protein and they're still sick out there in the world. It's like, need my protein, need my protein, need my protein, 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 protein. My grandparents said protein, everybody says protein, my mom says protein, my dad says protein, my aunt says protein, my friend, my doctor says protein, protein, protein. Where's my protein? But where are you getting your protein? Where are you getting your protein? Excuse me, excuse me, sir, sir, where are you getting your protein? Where are you getting your protein? Are you sick, ma'am? Are you sick? Are you getting your protein? You don't have enough protein. Ma'am, are you sick? Do you have enough protein? Your, your body runs on glucose and minerals, trace mineral salts, doesn't run on protein. Your muscles build on carbohydrates and trace mineral salts. Trace minerals, actually. All right, you guys. Love you guys. Sale, $50 off. Check this juice out when you can. I'm going to drink some celery juice. Excited about everything. And I'll see you guys soon. Michelle L., good to see you. Everybody, good to see you. April Taft, all you guys. Anyway, I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. I can't wait.